Hi, it's Amanda Green from Living a Simple Budget Family Life and today I'm doing a collab video uh, with the YouTube Mummy Meetup group and a lovely lady called Marie Gray. Um, check out her channel, she's got some really cool classic style. Um, and I really enjoy her $5 Good Book Challenge video so make sure you go over and check those out. Um, has organised this collab and it's a collab um, giving yourself um, some advice. So what advice would you give yourself in your childhood early 20s sort of you know what would you tell yourself if you could you know wind back the clock and um, you know change some things that you have done you know throughout your childhood and early 20s so this is right up my alley because the husband and I have been watching lots of um, TEDx talks and motivational speaking trying to get ourselves motivated to lose weight and do those sorts of things and originally I thought my things that I would tell myself would be based on health and exercise and you know being a better person today that I am but then I sort of got thinking and it was more along the lines of regrets so things that I regret doing so I wanted to share with you my three things that I would tell myself Okay, so the first thing that I would tell myself to do would be to save money. And I mean consistently save money. $5 a week, $10 a week, probably $10. Um, I would, you know, as soon as you get it, put it aside, you know, like from your first pay, save money, $10 a week. Um, so that way when you're 40, uh, you don't find yourself living paycheck to paycheck and, you know, living on a really tight budget. Okay, the second thing I would tell myself um, would be it's better to regret the things that you've done than the things that you have not. I'll say that again. It's better to regret the things that you have done than the things that you have not. Um, you know, looking back um, on my early childhood and my childhood and early 20s, um, you know, there's lots of little, silly little things that um, I regret not doing, um, which were, you know, like in hindsight, obviously, um, which, you know, would have been would have been nice to do. So, for example, you know, hug the stranger that listened to you when you were at your lowest point and, you know, picked you up. Um, you know, give them a hug. You know, those sorts of simple things that um, at the time it was sort of like, oh, do I, do I, don't, you know... Do it, just do it. Um, you know, kiss the boy that you like that you're afraid to kiss and um, those sort of things. You know, it's, it's better to not have any regrets. Um, yeah, or if you do have regrets, it's things that you have done rather than things that you have not. You know, we only have one shot at this life and, you know, it's certainly not a dress rehearsal. So that's my advice number two. Third piece of advice, stop drinking. Don't drink your late teenagers, early 20s away. We can drink when we're 18 here in Australia and it's it's just too young. Um, yeah, I just feel like I fried my brain in my early 20s and, you know, what I thought was giving me some Dutch courage at the time, you know, out socialising with friends, etc., is actually setting me up for... Um, a lack of social skills later on in life and when I say that I mean you know like in your early 20s when you have a couple of drinks and you go out get some courage and some confidence to to socialize with strangers out in clubs etc um, you know and it, it you know it's not good for you it, it does and it and when especially when you do it in excess and I did it in excess um, you know it sort of fries your brain cells basically and I now feel like, and I don't, it could be just baby brain, but I just feel like now um, I'm, I'm lacking confidence when it comes to uh, having an intellectual conversation in my adult um, years with um, peers, friends, etc. So stop drinking. So there you go. Those are my three pieces of advice. Uh, stop drinking. Better to regret things that you have done than things that you have not. And um, save. Save, save, save. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. And make sure you go and check out all the other people that were involved in the collab video. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing all the advice that people would give themselves um, with hindsight.
take care and thanks so much thank take care and thank you so much for watching